Okay, let's do some practice here, shall we? So here we've got six questions about conversion. So I want you to pause the video, try it out yourself. We'll explain the answers afterwards. A few moments later. All right, because of the time, I already finished writing up my answers. And so let's just go through it together. Before we start, I would like you to pay attention to the presentation because this is very important in physics. It's not about just calculating the answer but also about how you present the idea in a very logical way that people can understand. So here I will recommend you to copy the question, which is a number and a unit. Normally, we don't need to write the unit in the physics until the end okay, of uh, your calculation, which is the answer. But here we are doing about something to do with the unit's conversion, and therefore I recommend you to just writing, it, writing them out. So uh, for the first one, it's in millimeter. And as you require to know uh, with the table above, um, milli is 10 to the power of negative 3. So that's something you can do times 10 to the power of negative 3. So it's like converting the m milli into 10 to negative 3. So then you can uh, find out the answer in 1.564 meter. For part B, you will find out is different it's an opposite of what you did in part a because you are asked to turn gram into kilogram okay so you start with uh, the number and gram and then you can see what i did here is i multiply 10 to the power of negative 3 but then you may wonder uh, isn't kilo means 10 to the power of positive 3 because if you try to scroll back up uh, to look at the table it is you know 10 to the power of 3 isn't it 1000 isn't it so then how come I would times 10 to the power of negative 3 instead? So here you have to understand that we are trying to convert from gram to kilogram. Okay, so without changing the number in itself because we wrote equal, right? It means if you think about a balance, then left hand side, right side has to balance, of course. So what we did here, if you try to look at this part, k and also 10 to the power of negative 3, if you multiply them, Right. Actually, there's a multiplication in between them. It would equal to 1 because k in itself is 10 to the power of 3, positive 3. And then multiply with that negative 3, it becomes 1. So that means we haven't changed anything else, just multiply 1 while keeping 1750 and gram right there. Okay, so this is a fair uh, equal sign that you're now putting in. So eventually, since you can do this now, uh, then you can just calculate. So then the answer will be 1.750 kg. For part C, um, you really have to understand what it means by T. I'm sorry if you are confused about that, but in fact, T actually means tons. So if you try to Google it, you will find out uh, one tons mean 1000 kilogram and that's all you need to do uh, for here so you just actually just multiply 1000 so you get 26000 kg so if you want to uh, you can even express it in terms of scientific notation so 2.6 times 10 to the power of 4 kg uh, if you really want to you can convert to another uh, higher up prefix that is mega because uh, you know 30 means uh, like kind of one level higher so uh, 2.6 sorry times 10 to the power of 1 mega gram so that if, if you really want to do uh, I would say both are fine to me for part D uh, it is 42 mil second all right the when I say mu is referring to the symbol itself right this symbol uh, the pronunciation is mu just like kilogram you, you don't say kilo G right you say kg so here's the same thing. For this symbol, it's a Greek letter, which we call mu, mu second. So it's a very short uh, time, basically. And if you try to refer back to the table that I provide to you, this is uh, the same meaning as micro. So 10 to the power of negative 6. So what you have to do simply here is uh, you just kind of convert this mu into 10 to the power of negative 6. Right? It, it's just simply equal to each other. And so eventually you'll be able to find out is 462 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And so I would like to express it with scientific notation. Again, that's why I put a dot here. And here you get uh, plus 1. So 10 to the power of negative 5 second at last. For part E, 
it will be similar to part B because you're also changing from gram to kg. So I think I won't ex uh, like go through the details again, but again, the most important step is uh, you can write down 10 to the power of negative three and k, right? Again, they, when they multiply, it equal to one. As for F, it's actually quite easy too because it's converting millimeter to meter. So you know, milli is once again 10 to the power of negative three. And so you just have to calculate, merge them together. You get 10 to the power of negative 10 as, at the end. So in meter. And that's all for the practice. Very simple, isn't it?